The magic number is down to two. Yes, that's right. We are officially two days away from opening day, so it's only fitting that I'm joined at the desk by our two MLB experts, Matt Hosapple and Emmanuel Tobe, to give us a little rundown on what to expect come Thursday. So guys, everyone wants to talk about the Yankees, the Dodgers, and the Astros, but what's a dark horse team that could make a big run this season? Matt? I don't think the Seattle Mariners are sticking in the AL with the Yankees and the Astros. Look, they have the talent. They just have to stay healthy. They've been so close, but they've been close to 500 because they've had injuries the last couple years. And they have guys like Robinson Cano, Nelson Cruz, Gene Segura, Kyle Seeger. They added Ichiro, who well, may not produce stats. 45 years he's old. Lead, he's oh, my gosh. It's See, about to the me, leadership. The, to me, the thing about this team is, yes, for one, they're injury prone, but also it's a really old team. I'm going to go on the other side of the spectrum and go with the Colorado Rockies, who had 87 wins last year and were third in the, NF, in the NL West. I mean, this team is built around a young, solid pitching core as well as timely hitting. Yes, they struggled at offense at times, but they really scored and had runs when it mattered. They led the National but League in runs. what have they done that's different than last year? What's going to change this year? What did they do that's so big that's going to make them well, make that the, big Well, that's leap? the thing about young players is that, you know, over the offseason, that's their time to grow. I mean, you have Ian Desmond, who was injury-struck in last year, but he's uh, going to have a bounce-back year if he can stay on the field. They also got new closer Wade Davis, who had, tw who had 32 saves and 33 opportunities last year. I mean, set up Van Brian Shaw. I mean, to me, this is a really good team. They still have a, a Renato as well as Blackman, who's had 37 home runs last year. So, hey, let's good focus team. in on the Yankees a little bit, all right? Colorado Rockies, definitely a good choice as a dark horse. But the Yankees just acquired a big slugger named John Carlos Stanton <laughs> out big from deal. Miami. So, yeah. Is their season going to be a big bust if they don't make it to the World Series, Manny? To me, not this year. I mean, I feel like we should kind of slow down a little bit. Slow down? Slow they, down. They went to Game 7 with the World Series champs in the ALCS last Just, year. There's nowhere to go but up. Where else can they go but win the World Series? Bust? Are you kidding me? It's a bust year. I mean, look at yes, this. They have a, a new why. manager, Aaron Boone. Don Matanzas, their ace out of the bullpen, said, quote, if we don't win it all, it's a bad year. Bad they, you had all the talent last year. You had Judge, Sanchez, Severino in their young years, and now they're back again. They're more grown up. You add Stanton. You have all the, the veterans like Gardner and Ellsbury. Stanton who, they're ready. Stanton, who has no playoff experience. I mean, Aaron Judge has more playoff experience so than So we're, we're going to say he's not going mean, to lead them on. then? You no, see what he did in Miami? He he's going to lead them to the – No, no, no I'm just saying that we should slow down. We shouldn't expect this team to make to – you know, win the championship, and if they don't, say it's a buzz. I mean, the World Series. But how do you I go mean, just anywhere but some, World Series after some last time. year's success? You have so much time with this team. They're so young. They're so talented. Just give them a second. As well as, come on, look at the Astros. They still have a great uh, offensive lineup. Give them time. So, guys, moving on now, just to change the subject. Talking young talent in the MLB right now. The Yankees have a good guy named Aaron Judge. We got guys like Mike Trout and Mookie Betts, but... Who's somebody that you're ready to see their debut this season? It's going to be hard to live up to the early success that Judge had, but I like Ronald Acuna, who's the number one prospect in baseball for the Braves. You know, the Braves have been kind of poor in these last few yeah. years. Look, he moved up from single A to double A, triple A last year. He got better each, each level. That's not supposed to happen. Baseball is supposed to get harder as you go up. His OPS went up. His batting average went up. They wanted to challenge him, put him in the Arizona Fall League. He hit seven home runs in 23 games. He's the real deal. It's not going to be too long. To me, if you want to talk about real deal, come on now. You got to talk about Shohei Otani. I mean, just look at this guy. He's oh, he's six foot four. He's an athletic freak. He can hit but as can well he, as he pitch. can hit a curveball. Can he hit a curveball though? <laughs> He can hit a cur He's okay, so he's working on it, okay? But the thing is, though, just give it some time. As well as he's already one of the most exciting players to watch. I mean, did you see the hit that he did in the Tokyo Dome? My where he knocked it through Otani, the roof? I mean, my problem with Otani is his lack of experience against MLB caliber players. If he pitches, he's going to be facing an entire lineup of MLB players. If he hits, he's going to be facing an entire bullpen or starting rotation of MLB caliber pitchers. Well, hey guys, not proven. They've got a lot to prove this season. We're going to see how they do, but both really exciting prospects. Spring training's over, and it's time to officially play ball. Up next, we move from the diamond to the ice for a little NHL postseason preview.